Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the third grade concept of classifying shapes and solids. This is standard 3.6a in the great state of Texas when we're using item number 9 off the 2018 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and we will look at our answer together. So we've got six solid figures. We're calling these solids just because they're 3D uh, figures. Solids typically is what we call 3Ds. If we're calling something a shape, that's kind of our code word for a 2D flat shape, like circles, squares, rectangles, and triangles. So we've got six solids, and we're going to need to sort them. But let's see if we can go ahead and label them. So we have this first one. looks like a, like a box, like maybe a tissue box. So this is a rectangular prism, and it's a prism because it's got uh, flat faces and edges and vertices, but it's got some rectangular faces. So this kind of describes uh, some of the faces. This is a triangular prism. So you're going to see the word prism there, triangular prism. So it's another prism. It's got flat faces, edges, and vertices, but you see it's got these two triangle faces. So once again, we're kind of naming our prism by some of its faces, like this rectangular prism. It's got some rectangular faces. So we've got right here a cone. A cone doesn't have a face. Its faces have uh, straight edges, but it does have this, this flat surface down at the bottom, and then it's got a vertex. Now, this vertex is slightly different than the vertex that we typically call corners, like these are vertices here. Vertex of a cone is slightly different. Now what we have here next to it is a cylinder. So a cylinder is like a can, or um, a soup can, or a soda can. So like the cone, it's got a flat surface, but we're not going to call it a face. We might call it a base. Two bases, actually, in the cylinder, one on the top, one on the bottom. And it's got a big curved surface all the way around. Now this right here is a cube. Um, and it is it is like a rectangular prism, but all of its faces are squares. So that's, that's a special type of rectangular prism. It's got square faces. And then this really wide one right here. One thing we need to see that this is also a cylinder. So pay attention. It looks completely different. It just happens to have a much wider, much more... Oh, this looks like it's more oval-shaped base as opposed to the cylinder looks a little bit more round. So we've got two cylinders. I think that might be key for our answer. So look at A. A's got two prisms. Well, it looks like I've got a prism here and a prism here, so that looks okay. I've got a cone, so that looks like I've got the first three. And it's got two cylinders. So that looks good, but then a pyramid. No, I don't have a pyramid. I've got a cube. If this had said cube, I think we would be fine. So um, we're going to hope that we get something else that's better. Three prisms. Well, I've got one prism. I've got two prisms. Don't know about that third one. I've got one cone. So I'm going to put a question mark here. Definitely have a cone. And I definitely have two cylinders. There's one and there's two. So that's yes. So I'm not sure about this one. The question is, is do I count this cube as this third prism? Let's go look at C and D real quick. Two prisms, yes. Two cylinders, yes. And a sphere. No, I don't have a sphere. That's my problem. I have a cone because it lists my cube, and that's good. So C is not going to work because I don't have a sphere. A doesn't work because I don't have a pyramid. Let's see. D has got three prisms. Maybe. This is like B. One cylinder. Nope, that's a problem. Look, I've got two cylinders, and it's got two cones. Nope, I've only got one cone. So it looks like my answer is going to be B. And remember, I said it, but I didn't really write it. This is a type of prism. That's the... The big reveal at the end. A cube is a special type of prism that happens to have square faces. So your answer is B.